article that I saw that I thought was fairly interesting and I'm going to pull it up here on the screen. This is courtesy of the Daily Mail, right? And I think I'm a little bit I'm a little bit in two minds about this article because I honestly do think people maybe overstate how important it is to fulfill whatever potential they think you may have weird thing to say i understand i really do get weird thing to say but just hang in there with me right so this story that kind of broke over on the daily mail and a few other places it says delhi ali's hippie crack shame football star 26 is surrounded by laughing gas canisters with a balloon in his mouth as friends party with 215 pound tequila jamaican tonic wine and high strength chewing tobacco i had to said jamaican tonic wine they might as well said nigger wine, innit? Say nigger wine. Say wagwan wine. Nigger wine, wagwan wine. Come on, just say that. But they didn't want to say that, right? They called it Jamaican wine, which is probably tonic that we have here, right? Magnums that everyone's drinking that I absolutely love. They basically, it's kind of like the UK version of like lean or something, it feels like, because it tastes like it. it's super syrupy, but it's awful. It tastes awful, awful, awful. I swear to God. And it's really sugary and stuff. And I love to drink them when I go out. Um, but honestly, <laughs> it's probably not the best thing to be drinking and i'm sure it has a tons of you know horrible things in it that i shouldn't be putting in my body but hey you know there's worse things i put in my mouth and in my flipping body i can tell you that i can tell you that what is a tonic um a tonic wine how do you what is a tonic I, actually they just say let's see what they say on google tonic wine what is it but it's essentially it comes in a really small bottle so a tonic wine is usually a fortified generally consumer to as 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 an in invigorating invigor invigorate invigorating look how i pronounce that i pronounce invigorating like how my mum would um invigorating effects colin so essentially they say it's meant to be given your bone and i think the cover of the magnum if i'm not mistaken has like a guy embracing a woman in a very um caribbean way right and it kind of looks like he's picking up the lady you know and and flipping dagger in her in the air so it's meant to be it's meant to give you a it's meant to give you a dick wings basically right you know how red bull gives you wings i think tonic wine is meant to be giving you dick wings but that's essentially what we all are drinking over here right this is it right this is it all right we're drinking all this stuff here on a daily basis over here in the uk having a flipping time of our lives and partying like it's flipping you know like it's back in the days that sidewinder flipping club wreck so it's a little bit crazy anyway i say all that to say that this article features you know again um the daily mail essentially shaming um former spurs player and england star um daily ali for essentially on his off time deciding to hang out with some friends that are flipping crazy afters which i've been at i've been at many many you know places with a similar sort of flipping layout where you're at afters after going out from a tour nightclub and you end up at some random person's you know a humble abode which is essentially an afters and you end up you know going and doing the flipping drinks run at a sainsbury's or tesco maybe they have some drinks there already in the cupboard and you end up getting on it and doing maybe balloons maybe a couple of lines a couple of other things and this is generally what you do you end up kind of talking and blabbering on for hours and hours and usually in these scenarios you end up kind of feeling like you're solving the world's problems you can end up talking about festivals that you want to go to i remember going to afters right with random people and in the moment you're so high off whatever you're high off of right that you legitimately think these people are like your family and your friends and you legitimately start having conversations about going on festivals going on a holiday together like all these really high like not even just a casual thing about hey we should meet for a drink or for dinner next week no you're thinking about no we're friends forever man we get each other let's go and do this let's go and start a magazine let's start a creative agency now i'm sure there are some people out there who have done that and they've actually gone ahead and followed through i'm sure they've existed those people follow through right but for the most part most of us just do this and you ever, you never see these people ever again and sometimes in my experience you hang out with these people you have a great time and then you message them the following week or following day and they act like they never know you they never knew you like leave me alone go away block delete you know never speak to me again you're like hold on we were just sharing a spoon the other day how how are we now suddenly not friends anymore anyway all this to say i generally do think there is a over emphasis placed on people fulfilling their potential especially when the person themselves doesn't really care and i get the feeling from delhi ali 
that he doesn't care as much as other people care uh, how his kind of career has kind of you know somewhat petered out into a little bit of a of a dead end at the moment um he was obviously a really great at spurs for a while he did some great stuff non-league mk dons got teams promoted was you know he won loads of personal trophies in terms of young player of the year he scored a bunch of goals took part in a real bunch of crazy amazing premier league games you know went on a good run with spurs in the champions league and generally i feel like even though he's only 26 27 i feel like a lot of people out there haven't you know achieved an, an ounce of what he has in their in their career and they're pretty happy so i'd imagine you know Deli ali could be pretty happy too despite maybe him hitting the wall not fulfilling his overall potential but i never got the feeling that he was overly bothered about it and i'm just here to say what is the crime in deciding you're happy with how your career panned out and you just want to kind of live your life what's the crime about that even if you're, and again especially if you're on your off time there's something about footballers in the uk where they get criticized so heavily for essentially doing what anybody else the same age as them is doing on their off time at the time now Deli Ali isn't playing football i don't think he's meant to be at fenerbahce he's maybe injured i think he's on loan for everton he's injured maybe so what else is he meant to be doing at this time if he can't play football why shouldn't he be doing balloons why shouldn't, be at, why shouldn't he be at crazy afters when he's 27? Because every other kid that's his age, um, that's maybe into the stuff that he's into, I can guarantee most of them are doing the same thing that he's doing on any given weekend. Some of them are doing them on a daily basis. So I don't actually see the issue personally for me. I think people are projecting way too much on him. And I think there's also a little bit of a case of, I wonder if some people just have this feeling where like they feel like because he's a footballer, which is a kind of very... Um, fortunate sort of like um position to be in and a lot of people kind of try to be for especially in the uk in london especially you don't make it so that maybe you look at these kind of people and you think to yourself oh if i was had the opportunity to do that i wouldn't be wasting my career that he's wasting the way he's wasting it you think in your opinion which you know there could be some sh truth to that but then that's the beauty of having your own career and be able to do your own thing you don't exactly need to abide by other people's rules or follow what they want to kind of go by in my opinion i think this is just this is kind of what happens i don't think everybody gets to fulfill their potential some people get to enjoy the fruits of their career early on middle of their career maybe at the end but as long as they did enjoy it were able to make some money provide for their family and have fun along the time along the along the along the way what's wrong we deciding to then unwind and do what you want to do in your spare time what is the actual what's the wrong thing about this i don't really see anything wrong with it personally but anyway let's kind of read the article because of daily mail it says former england football star um daily ali has been pictured with balloons in his mouth surrounded by laughing gas canisters a picture shared on social media claiming to be inside a flat in salford shows a 26 year old and several friends sitting around a table laden with high with giant balloons giant bottles of nitrous oxide also known as hippie crack i love it no one calls it hippie crack people just call it balloons but i love how the daily mail is trying to you know this flip in disgrace um the legacy of balloons because i guess predominantly maybe black people take it or something i don't know it's annoying but i see loads of plenty of white people outside clubs taking this shit um the timetable is littered sorry the table so it's littered with a variety of other party related items including a 215 pound um calais azul tequila um magnum a 16.5 alcohol tonic wine from jamaica i love how they're, they're breaking it down here trying to get it banned um the siberia extremely strong snus which a lot of people take actually i think footballers are starting to take it too i see a lot of footballers on the benches taking it a form of chewing tobacco also visible is a bottle of orange fizzy lecozade a can of fizzy drink and a bottle of seven up pack a bottle of seven up and a packet of evian water alongside several empty balloons and a pack of playing cards imagine being a journalist or being a writer or going to imagine going to journalism school and then at the end of it you graduate and this is what you have to write you have to be breaking down um, item by item um, what is contained on a table and afters where a professional footballer is. Imagine that. While possession of laughing gas is not currently illegal, Home Secretary Suela Brav Braverman wants to introduce new laws banning it entirely from all but legitimate uses, which include whipping cream. Somehow they're going to try and ban laughing gas so you can only use it if you're whipping cream. Hilarious. But anyway, we digress. Deli Ali, um, that's him clearly there. You know, he's got this foreign football swag on, wearing the Louis Vuitton skates, which are a decent shoe there. I love that. So big up him for that. It continues. Um, leveling, um, leveling up Sec Secretary um, Michael Gove has been 
a high profile critic and announced the plans to tackle certain social behavior and littering from people using it. It's hilarious, right? Co kid Michael Gove is telling people not to take a flipping laughing gas. Shut up, mate. Five tons of laughing gas canisters were collected after Notting Hill Carnival last year. Kingdon and Chelsea. I hope they're going to be collecting the same canisters at fucking Glastonbury, right? They keep targeting the blacks because we've decided, you know, maybe laughing gas is our new thing. But I, I hope these police officers are also going to be at flipping Glastonbury collecting all the flipping laughing gas canisters from all the whites over there and Reading and Leeds Festival also. Don't just flip in target the blacks, please. But anyway, we could digress. Kensington and Chelsea Council said the excessive number of metal cans had made what was already Europe's largest street clan um, the all the more difficult because they had to it separately where the risk of the, uh, uh, continues. Um, Kerry Donaldson, a receptionist, recently revealed that she'd been paralysed. <laughs> sorry to laugh paralyzed and left needing run the cook care after repeated binges on balloons damaged her spinal cord i'm sorry i'm sorry but if you're using balloons to an extent where you're getting paralyzed surely there comes a point where you just think natural selection because anyone that's actually done balloons will know it's not that enjoyable it's like shisha like people who od on shisha and stuff you are weird that stuff tastes weird after a while. It makes you dizzy. Um, it's just not that enjoyable after a couple of puffs. It's not that incredible. So people that are legitimately inhaling laughing gas to the point where their spine is getting paralyzed and they're having round the clock help. Maybe your core wasn't strong to begin with. You know what I mean? Not to be mean and stuff, but maybe your core was lacking number one. And now, you know, paralysis has basically come your way because of that. Maybe do a couple of more sit-ups and less of the flipping laughing gas. Maybe. But hey, what do I know? Ali was uh, uh, hailed as one of England's most promising footballers, but struggled on the pitch since leaving Tottenham in January last year. He previously had been on loan at Turkish side Besiktas in Everton, um, but um, this expected to be cut short after, an in after the, the midfielder developed a hip injury. A hip injury, though, to be, fair, to be fair to Besiktas, a hip injury is one of those injuries that footballers get that footballers kind of say they have and it's kind of hard to really diagnose a hip injury so it's one of those ones where you can kind of stay out on the sidelines for a while if you're not really in the mood so i can kind of see why they're upset but you know i trust him if he says he is um ali would have been able to play again this season for the toffees anyway or would have not been would unable sorry anyway due to not being registered as a premier league squad god almighty but images released may cause concern for fans hoping to see him return to action sooner rather than later he hasn't appeared on the pitch since the end of february against um Altispor. Ali isn't the first footballer to be spotted with a laughing gas here and they keep and they're gonna snitch at other people. But essentially, my point was to say in this regard, right? There is nothing wrong in my opinion with deciding that like, you kind of hit your kind of ceiling as a footballer and you're kind of over it. And maybe you just want to enjoy yourself and live the life that every other 27 year old is living at the moment. I don't see anything wrong in it. The guy's achieved pretty, you know, a pretty decent amount in his career. Just checking over here on flipping um, transfer market, right? He's got here Premier League, Europa League appearances for Spurs, right? Look how many he's got there. Right, a few there, two goals in Europa League. He's got four goals um, playing for the in a Champions League for Spurs. Again, a, 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 a you know, a perpet a permanently kind of underachieving football club, right? A joke of a club, really, under Daniel Levy. He's been able to score four Champions League goals, you know, across the spread of what? It's five or six years. Not too bad, in my opinion. You got a promotion to the second league um, with Moutakeen Dons when he was really, really young. Champions League runner-up, you know, for, the, for flipping um, Tottenham. He scored a goal. Maybe it's only one solitary goal, but it's still one goal Then a lot of people have, have got appearances playing for England um, in the World Cup, you know, not some Mickey Mouse thing and obviously participated in the Euros also for England in 2016. Yes, he's only 27 and his career might have kind of petered out a little bit, but I don't think there's anything wrong with it, personally. I think people are being overly critical and maybe projecting a little bit because some people haven't been able to achieve the things that they wanted to do in their career or maybe they had way less talent than him but worked harder and it still didn't work out for them and they think to yourself how would you why could you throw away quote unquote your career like this but I don't think there's anything wrong with it personally I don't think it's throwing it away I think some people should be allowed to just decide hey I've had enough this is what I wanted to do I did it and now I want to chill out and do what every other 27 year old is doing I don't see anything wrong with it 
it, leave Deli Ali alone, let him do the laughing gas and stop kind of, you know, painting it in this light like it's some sort of thing that only affects, you know, black people and stuff, whatever it may be. Please, please, please relax, relax, relax.